So, got part of it done here. Let the drill cool off for a minute. Got a few more spots to hit. But looking a lot better. I'm getting, getting a decent surface to start to work with. Especially when we start seeing up here and seeing where we haven't gotten to yet. On this end. Start seeing the transition there. Yeah, a little bit more on this side to get, uh, get a little more light, but main thing is just want to make sure it makes it to where the paint can stick, so a little bit more on this side here, so keep on rocking, see how she goes. All right, you're knocked on down, starting to come on out. Nice good shine, a couple little spots to hit there. We gotta hit this other side some more. Finish it up and then knock the top off and then it come back down, but really just looking for a good good smooth surface that uh, we can prime out and get painted up and make it look brand new again, hopefully. I don't know about brand new. Maybe better than brand new, who knows? But keep on rocking and rolling here, so takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience and just got to be careful watch out for that wire wheel things can happen no questions asked but uh, yeah this one will be done for long get back to it and finish this one up all right clicking right along got this one knocked out here ready to go all the way down to bare metal all that rust stuff knocked off there are going to be little blemishes and knots and Nicks throughout it. You know, they are the, I do believe, the original legs. Too I did the insides of them a little bit as well. And I hit those with a little sander so I can get in there and a little bit easier on some of that stuff. But coming along, so there's one down for that one. That makes three, for, at least for the top sides. And just to give you a comparison again, after we got this one completed. what we had to start working with here to where we're at and going to with them so this really gives you a look of kind of what I'm going for anyway to get these things ready to paint I want all this little pitting that I can get out you have a little bit of rust and stuff and I'm just going ahead and knocking all that old paint off kind of come back and completely like I said reprime them and and paint them as well so Still trying to figure out what color I'm going to paint them. If I'm just going to go back with a darker gray like this, or if I want to use some type of metallics with the gray, and then uh, come back and clear coat them as well. Got any suggestions? Let me know. Still kicking around. I'm going to go buy the paint tomorrow. So looked around. I've seen that hammered paint before as well. Thought about that, but not real sure. I kind of think I'd really like a, a higher gloss with a metallic gray. So kind of what I'm looking for on that machine or it's, you know a silver just kind of look and see what we can figure out tomorrow when I get over and look at the paint and, but any suggestions let me know I'm going to jump start jumping on number two here in just a second hopefully get this one done before long and get keep on rocking be back in a minute all right this one's coming along now along coming along Switched over to this little two inch cup disc there. I think it seemed to be like it's working a little bit better. I'm about to come back with a, with a three inch with some of these other little cracks, but overall I think it's taking it off a little bit quicker than the other one. So just pretty much got the top section here left on this one. Let's get on to it after this drill, drill cools off for a minute. Let me hit this last little section here. Get it ready. Almost there. All right, got this one knocked out here. Got it ready to go. Just need to wipe her down here. Let me get all that dust off of it. Get that done. Got the interior of it done. Shined up, cleaned up. Ready to go for some primer and paint. So 
got those just got three more interiors to do but the interiors go a lot faster than the out here the, the out here's than the than this side of them uh, the cup sits right in there on that two inch and it's just a whole lot easier to work with it there kind of breaks against itself makes it there so it's good and complete let's take it over here Set it down to get ready to do the. And I got these other three interiors and I'll be done for the night. So, get all that paint off the inside there. You see how they are. About every one of them has, looks exactly like that in the front there. So, better knock these out, and get these stuffed up and cleaned up, ready for paint. So, it's getting close. Well, I guess. So, you can jump onto it. All right, got another one here ready to go. Cleaned and shined up. Just need to wipe her down. Clean up tomorrow, wipe them off the tack cloth. And I tell you what, if I actually tried to polish these things, I bet I could polish these up pretty good too. But it's going to be a lot of extra work. But they've actually come out pretty nice. Got a little brushed aluminum look just just by cleaning them up. See a couple of spots it looks like when you look at it and through the camera that's there. It's actually a lot of that stuff just comes right off and you just need to really scuff it up and make sure no, no more rust on it. And, uh, primer will cover the rest of that up and the paint so, so that's all right. So we're not going to keep boring everybody with uh, Working on these legs, but we've got two more to go here. And this is one of the worst ones, so. so getting all that crap knocked out, all that rust gone, is the main thing. So get these other these two complete and then they'll be ready for paint tomorrow. So Thanks for watching, and like I said, if you have any other suggestions maybe for paint between now and then before I go buy paint tomorrow, throw them in the comments down there, and I'll look at them and definitely consider it. So, once again, thanks for watching, and also, uh, thanks to Captain Retro and Tara's Never Seen and Pinball Shenanigans all uh, kind of helping inspire me to kind of start documenting this stuff, and like I said, holding myself accountable to make myself be sure I finish some of these projects I've had sitting around, so... Thanks again for that and uh, to all you guys and hopefully I can keep on and uh, get this going. But so far, so good. We'll talk to you soon.